Hey guys, it's Jessica from Crafting and Stampin' Deathblocks.com. <clears throat> and today is September 30th. It is the last day that you can get your hands on two of the specials this month. One is our September stamp of the month, the poster tidings. Um, I should be back later on today with a uh, card using the joy the joy card. I already used the autumn one or the joy stamp. I already used the autumn one, but you have one day left to get this for five dollars with a purchase of fifty dollars or more. Um, awesome stamp, awesome. I mean, right now it's huge to have subway art, and that's what this reminds me of. This stamp set, um, one for autumn, one for you know Christmas time. So definitely get your hands on it. Don't let it slip away. And then finally the You Are My Happy stamp set. This is a three pack set of stamps for National Stamping Month. It's $10 with a purchase of $50 or more, or you can get it for free by signing up to be a consultant under me. Uh, my link for my online store is in my About Me on my uh, Crafting and Stampin' YouTube page, but it's also gonna be down below in the link. Um, or in the, yeah, my link will be down below right there. You can, you don't want to miss this stamp set. This set is amazing. And today we're going to be using it uh, to make another card. This set is $10 with a purchase of $50 or more. Or like I said, you get it for free. But you're going to get a set of icons which coordinate perfectly with art philosophy. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to use one of the, the icons from here. And we are going to be using also a sentiment. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sentiments in this. And you also get a set of letters, uppercase letters, lowercase letters, and numbers. All three of these sets for $10. Now that is amazing and it is perfectly priced. Um, and for the low price of uh, $50, you can get it for $10. Or for signing up to be a consultant, guess what? That's only $49. Sign up to be a consultant under me and you're getting it for free. So you're saving yourself $10 there and you're getting a discount on all the stuff that you love. So let's, now that I did my little spiel, let's get to making our card today. This is going to be a little guy. Um, this card is actually only going to measure two and a half by three and a half. Super small and it's totally out of my norm. And that is why I love, 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 love this book because um, it gives me all types of ideas and it takes me out of my comfort zone and it's super easy and if you're ever stumped you just pull out the book and do like I do I go like this and whatever I land on I make so what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut out a, your card base uh, actually has to be five by it's gonna be five inches high by three and a half inches wide and then you're gonna cut out a coordinating piece of cardstock <clears throat> at uh, two by three so two inches high three inches wide okay uh, I'm using um, actually a piece of paper from uh, or a sheet from the Laughing Lola collection which tomorrow if you check out my blog you're gonna see we're gonna have a big blog hop with the um, girls on the Damas Divas uh, team so uh, I'm actually going to be using this side that has the black in it. So we also want 12 inches of ribbon. Um, I'm going to use just black ribbon, uh, plain black. You can use, if you have the, um, oh gosh, what is it? There's white ribbon. It's like a satin ribbon. Let's see where it is. Hold on. And, uh, oh, it's this ribbon. Here we go. If you have the color ready seam binding ribbon, if you don't have black ribbon, you can definitely use this and create a black ribbon for yourself. The reason why I'm not using this is because this is a little too wide for me for my card because this is actually, does it say what size it is? It doesn't say, but it, it's, it's, it's too wide for me for my card for what I plan on doing today. But, I, but if you don't have, you can absolutely, you know, if you don't have black ribbon, you can absolutely use it. This is just like, I don't even know where I got this black ribbon. Um, and then you're going to need a piece of scrap, um, whatever color card base you're making, you want a piece of scrap paper to go with it for the stamp that we're going to be using today. And then you need a white, I mean, I'm using all my scraps. So you're going to need another, um, a white piece of scrap paper. This is actually craft card stock. Um, so like I said, we're going to be using art philosophy, um, because that's what this 
tells us to do. And we're going to be cutting out this heart right here. And if you look close, it tells us what page to go to, which says page 69. And it tells us what size to cut it out at, which is one and three quarter. And then you can utilize the stamp to coordinate with it. So let's go and get, oops, let's cut our Cricut to one and three quarters. And then let's find our image. Now it already told us to go to page 69, which I did. There's my image. And we all know to get the right hand side image or the image that's in um, the, uh, to get the, yeah, the right hand side image or the image that's always in the top right hand side, you're always gonna use the shift button. So I'm gonna hit shift and then I'm gonna look for the image that's like this, which is right here. I'm gonna make sure that my uh, my heart image comes up, which I don't think you guys are going to be able to see. Oh yeah, you can actually can see it way back there. Look, let's zoom in. See, it's back there. It's my heart image, and I already made it cut. I already have the size set at one and three quarters. Um, I already have my paper loaded, so all I'm going to do is hit cut, and it's going to cut my image out. It's cutting so slow. Hmm. Oh, I must have jacked the speed up. There we go. But now I'm going to hit the unload button and I'm going to have my paper pop out. Oops. I'm going to pull this off and I'm going to take my heart off. Now all you're going to do is you're going to just put your mat to the side. Um, and you can put your book to the side. I'm actually going to close this up so I have a little bit more room to work with see how everything looks like all smooshed okay so let's get <clears throat> what we're gonna need is um a three by three block or any size block really I got my three by three block for free in my new hostess kit um and I like that now what else we're gonna need for this card is I'm actually gonna be using the gypsy ink and the black ink which hello surprise surprise guess what else came with my this came with my kit for free as well, both of these colors. And so did the Laughing Lola paper. So are you guys seeing a trend here? I'm using my originals book that came with it, my three by three block that came with it, my black ink, my gypsy ink. Really, I mean, the other stuff I happen to have, um, you guys are gonna use barely anything <clears throat> um, other than the stuff that I gave, that you would get in your new consultant kit. So. If you get in if you order the new consultant kit you're gonna get this set for free so you should hop on the bandwagon now become a new consultant look at all the goodies you get okay so all I'm gonna do is let's see let's try and zoom you in here I'm gonna move this over now you see my image as you can see I'm gonna line up well, my big hand is taken up the way but I'm gonna line up my image right through and I'm gonna stamp right on top of what I printed and guess what wasn't as straight as I'd like it to be but if you want you can say I'm gonna flip it over no you can't I lied um, you can we're gonna just use that. <laughs> see that's the um, the fun part of filming this live we're just gonna go with it it's okay it still looks super cute <clears throat> but what we're gonna do is make sure we use our stamp cleaner and we're gonna clean our stamp um, now I actually have an older stamp cleaner. The new one is much better and I need to get it. But I'm gonna just use this real quick. You wanna make sure you always clean your stamps. Always, 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 always. And I try to let mine dry before I stick them back in with the stamps. I just have it resting on the front. So we got that. Now, we already have that done. Now let's go ahead and get our card base and the layer adhered. So I'm gonna use some Tombow. And I'm just going to go along the back. And, and I'm going to get it onto the front of the card base. And I actually want it to be up a little bit higher. Um, not down as far because I think I want to... I may have changed my mind about using that... This piece. We might be stamping right on the front now just because it looks super cute. Um... So let's go ahead and get our gypsy ink 
closed so it doesn't dry up on us. Um, I'm going to be taking just a black uh, Sharpie pen that has a fine point, and I'm going to do some faux stitching on my card. Now, if you have <clears throat> this ruler that goes up to 14 inches, it's from Close to My Heart, you could easily just do even just dots. <clears throat> Or um, you can turn it sideways. You can do whatever you know you need to. They do have a stitch guide ruler, which I hope to be getting soon. Um, but for right now, I'm really just going to go down very quickly and do some faux stitching. Okay, I'm going to turn it and go across. Doesn't matter how long you make your dashes. Try your best to make them straight. If you don't, it's not a big deal. I wanted to wait to do the bottom, but I got too excited here. Okay, so I have my faux stitching on my card. I'm not sure if you can see. See my faux stitching? Okay, so. <clears throat> My heart is dry. Let's put the heart back on so we don't lose it. That's the good and the bad of the clear stamps. When they're clear, you kind of can't see them. <laughs> um, anyway, we're going to be using this. Oh, Jesus, can I not drop things? The stamp that says your heart makes my or your laughter makes my heart smile. So what I'm going to do is get the stamp on here now. Um, because they're clear, you can see exactly what you're stamping when you're stamping. Um, I am going to, um, I only want your laughter showing up on the front of my card. And then I'm going to turn it over and get it, or I'm going to go ahead and put it inside my card, the rest of it. Now, hold on. I'm going to take this off for one second and I'm going to explain why in one minute. Okay, so all you're going to do is keep your stamp obviously down and you are going to, let's see if I can zoom you in here, being able to see clear through to the stamp, you can see when your stamp is all inked up to what you want. Okay, now I have my stamp, all I have is, whoops, um, as you can see, only, ooh, hello, close. Only your laughter is showing up, and that's all I wanted. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up with the bottom of my card. I'm going to stamp it right on the bottom. And you see how it's down there, your laughter. Now I'm going to come back and put this back on. Oops, I pushed away. Too far over. I'm going to take that black pencil, or that black pen rather, and I'm going to put some dots. See so it says your laughter, dot, dot, dot. And we're going to close this back up. It means we can zoom back out so you guys aren't just seeing craziness. Okay. Now I have my heart, and I'm going to put probably my heart right over here, I think. And then I have three black buttons that I thought would be super cute on this, too. You know what? I think I'm going to line them up like this. Oh, super cute. And then we have our heart there. I don't even know if you can see that, but you're going to see it in a second. Now, let's use some um, dimensional, either your foam tape or if you don't have any foam tape like myself. I'm just going to use some pop dots or whatever you want to call them. Something that will adhere them on. Okay. These are just old foam dots that I have from a while ago while I wait for my foam tape to come in. Now, you know what? From I'm going to get in here a little bit. There we go. Now that's staying down. So let's put our little heart on here. Oops. Okay. Now all we're going to do 
You can use the Tombow, I think will work on this. Hmm, you know what? Instead of having them go down, I might just have them follow along here. How cute! Love this. You know what? Do I want them along the bottom? I think I put them on the top. So you can kind of make some goofs on your card, and that's what I like about the Tombow. It's, it's not going instantly sticking. Watch, I may have just jinxed myself. I like that better along the top or along the bottom. <laughs> bottom. We're going to move them again. One. See? If you guys are as picky with your cards as I am, you can appreciate this. Because I do this all the time. When you see my finished cards, you have no idea how many times I redid it. Over and over and over again. Okay. Now the last thing we're going to do is we are going to fit our black ribbon right across the top. That's why I didn't want to do the buttons up there. So, let's zoom back out. Um, <laughs> do I want the ribbon to be just as big as this? Hey, you know what? I don't think we're going to need the 12 inches. I don't want it to go. Yeah, we are going to need the 12 inches. Uh, um, sorry about that, guys. Uh, so, you really don't even need 12 inches. I probably totally lied about that. I would say if the card is three and a half inches wide, go seven so you can just make it loop around into the front. Oops, and there went the rest of my Tombow for that one. How cute is that? Can you see that? There we go. Okay. Now all we're gonna do, remember I said we're gonna hold off and do the other half of that image. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just gonna stamp this to make sure all that ink is off from the last stamp. You could just go ahead and clean your stamp, but I don't feel like digging it out right now, to be honest with you. So. Now all I'm going to do is going, looking through the clear spots again. I'm going to just make sure that this is inked up nicely. And it is. So now I'm just going to put the sentiment on the inside. And there you go. So it says, your laughter, dot, dot, dot makes my heart smile. Cute little card to give somebody. Super fast to make. I love it. I hope you guys liked it. Um, <clears throat> remember this is the last uh, day to be able to get this card or to be able to get this stamp set before it goes. Especially for ten dollars. You know what I mean? You can't really you can't beat that. Um, or like I said if you want to sign up under me to be a consultant, you'll get half the stuff that's already in, that's used to make this card in the kit. Um, plus you'll get the stamp set. Um, three, st three total stamp sets. I mean, you can't go wrong. $49, you get a ton. So hopefully this was enough to convince you. Uh, check back later because I will be doing another video with the poster tidying stamp set. But in the meantime, 
that is it. Thanks so much for watching. Hope to catch you crafting and stamping. Don't forget to check out my blog and my online store. Links will be below. Bye.